16 gauge wire, round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, and flush cutter, and of course, some crystal beads is needed if you desire, of course. First of all, make a P shape with your round nose pliers on 16 gauge wire and continue rotating that with both hands and while your round nose pliers is into that very little loop and continue rotating so that you would have a swirl and this swirl is the unattached one then somewhere above the first loop keep your round nose pliers and with the other hand start rotating wire you could shape it with your fingers or you could use any cylindrical shape like a marker to make the bigger loop and circle but you could do that simply with your hand and with your fingers maybe that could need a little practice if it's needed use your tools like round nose pliers to shape it better and it's all okay if you do that controlled now I have a bigger loop and I'm going to continue rotating it to have a little loop at the center so I place round nose pliers at the center and then wrap the wire all around so that I would have a very little loop and while I'm keeping it with round nose pliers start to make a teardrop shape with wire and I'm going to continue doing that for the other side and if it's needed you could help brown nose pliers to shape it better at least for the first move and then to continue that with your fingers and with your hand at this place because it's getting smaller I'm using chain nose pliers to squeeze it a little so that the second teardrop shape would be a little smaller and I would do that continuously for the next one and I would repeat it for at least three or four of these teardrop shapes and you could do that even a little more and don't forget to check them out to be on one surface at the distance of about two centimeters I'm going to make a P shape with round nose pliers and this is the place where the chain or a cord is gonna be placed just like this and in this step you could leave this model just like as it is or you could decorate it with some crystal beads and to attach them I'm using 0.3 millimeters or 26 gauge wire so insert the thinner wire into the upper loop and tie it just like you tie a yarn just like this and insert the wire into that loop and pull it so that you would have a wire coiling part repeat that for about two or three times to be fastened completely and then insert your bead I'm using the very little crystal beads you could use any other kind of stone or beads that you desire and the proper size 
of the wire is needed and appropriate to the size of the bead or stone that you choose. After inserting the bead in, start to rotate in and wrap in the wire all around the main structure and then insert the second and the third one and that would be the final result. You could use that bead or simply without them. And this is the place where you insert chain or cord and that would be something like this. The very beautiful wire pendant that you could use with any other kind of pieces with swirl shapes. Hope you had enjoyed. Take care.